I'm Melissa Ballin, and we heard the LAPD say that there were only three instances of violence used by LAPD, and we know that that's not true. We witnessed unnecessary force and baton usage and the use of beanbag guns. So anyway, they welcome your complaints to Internal Affairs, and you can call them with your story that you witnessed at one 800 Three three nine six eight six eight. They definitely did violate, and now we're gonna litigate. So stay occupied and join us on Facebook, Twitter, and phone a friend. Stay occupied. <laughs> We are love. We are peace. We are love. And we were standing there peacefully, demonstrating, having an assembly. While we were having a assembly in front of City Hall, they came from underground through City Hall, down the steps of City Hall, and they rushed us from that direction. And they came in from Spring and Temple, and then they came through from Main and Temple, and they came down the streets running and rushing us. And move, move. They ran through the park. They threw up through City Hall. It's not a park. They ran through City Hall. And they came through talking about get out the park. We were like, this is not a park. And the pigs came through. And we were talking about we were peacefully assembling. They hit us and grabbed us, and pushed us, and hit us, and ran us out of there. This is what these Nazis did. These Nazis did that. They're using Nazi tactics, and that's what they are. They're a bunch of Nazis and racists, and they are anti american We have a constitution that says that we have a right to peacefully assemble. And they took that right away and took away the First Amendment. That's what they did, and they pushed people and hurt people, and that's what they wanted to do. And we're going to regroup. Prior to the people, we are not going to stop. We have the Constitution on our side. Prior to the people. I love you for this. I love you. Oh, thank you. There, dumbass! Fuck the people. people! Shut up! trying to collect my okay, uh, we need my you on things, this side. Okay. and I'm with the media. We need you on this side, because you're using a bullhorn and you're disrupting what we're doing here. Okay, so I'm going to tell I'm you one more time, you go to jail. Okay, you need to be on this side of the I won't line. use the bullhorn. I'm going to tell you the last the time you're going to go to jail. But Which you said, you have you taken a sworn oath of office to protect and serve the Constitution? We've been given a, 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 a lawful order to express. Ma'am, you got to get out of here. I'm getting my things. Okay, okay. Come on, ma'am. you got to get out of here. Please give me my bullhorn, please. I'm taking my things. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me, sir. You gotta get out of here. Your Let bond numbers are leanable. There's no reason to touch me. You see a woman, man, she's got heels on. You can't be pushing people like that. Your bond numbers are leanable. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Should anyone be injured, your bond numbers are leanable. The Attorney General has been contacted with an order for protection and ignorance of the law is no excuse. Each of your bond numbers are leanable and you know better, especially after the $10 million settlement. Your behavior is atrocious and you are in violation of your oaths. And each of you that are witnessing these violations 
are personally leanable and bondable and should feel very ashamed of yourselves because we are the people of California and we do not yield our sovereignty to the agencies that serve us. Shame, shame, shame on you. This is America and your behavior is outrageous. We the people accept your oath of office and ask you to fucking pull it together. You are outrageous and this is an embarrassment to the city of Los Angeles. How dare you treat the people of California this way? This is not a fucking video game. These people have rights. You are violating their rights. Shame, shame on you and your bond numbers. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, and you know better. And if you see a supervising officer commit a crime or violate their oath, you are responsible. That is complicit.